Hi there! In this video by Spreadsheet Solving, we're going to focus on how we can use spreadsheets to better understand and calculate the volume of various geometric objects, such as a pyramid. First questions first. Why should we even care about volume? Well, if you're able to calculate and understand the volume of objects, you will then be able to solve various real-world applications, such as how much sand does a pyramid fill? hold? How much air consists within a spherical balloon? And if you're in a grocery store and you see two boxes of pasta with two different prices, can you calculate the volume of the box per price and figure out which one is a better bargain? So by being able to calculate the volume of objects, you then are able to solve questions such as those. Now, where do spreadsheets come into play? Well, we've got a sample spreadsheet template here. I'm going to blow it up, and what you see here is we've got various geometric objects. What the formulas consist of and how we can compute it. Now the great thing about this template is that it not only displays what the formulas are, but it will enable you to also play with the inputs to see how the relationship of the volumes will change based on different inputs in the height, width, depth, or radius. Now, I always urge you not to simply memorize the formula. You'll move far further if you can understand the mathematical concept. So in general, when we think of volume, you want to think of the area of the base multiplied by the height. Okay, so this applies to the cube, the prism, the pyramid, and you might have to make adjustments. So in the case of a pyramid, we are indeed taking the area of the base, multiply the height, but then after that, you're going to take one third of it. In the case of, say, a cylinder, cone, the area of the base is, in essence, a circle. So we're not just multiplying the width times the depth. Now we're taking the area of a circle, which is pi r squared. And within Google Spreadsheets, we have a function called pi, pi open close paren, and this will deliver pi to the 14th decimal place. So the spreadsheet here is great because it provides all the volume formulas in one template, enables you to play with the various inputs, and not only that, but it simplifies this so that you can focus your energy on understanding the mathematical concept. Okay, so check out this template. Try to figure out um, patterns. For instance, in the case of a pyramid, it's one-third of the volume of a rectangular prism, assuming that the height, width, and depth are the same. Is there relation, are there other relationships? Sure thing, take a look at the cylinder versus the cone. Okay, so I urge you, download, save a copy of this template onto your Google Drive, and explore how you can better understand and compute volumes. All right, for more tutorials, you can check out our website at spreadsheetsolving.com. We'll see you next time.